Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have a new type of video for you today, which is the everyday makeup drawer slash storage. Um, and basically this was started by one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Jessica Braun, um, but she sometimes goes by Jam Beauty. Um, I'll make sure to link her channel down below so that you can go and see her videos. Um, I typically keep my makeup that I use on an everyday basis in a little uh, storage on its own. And so I thought I'd go through that with you guys today. And um, you'll see a lot of the Project Pam items that I have as well, but there are some other items that I like to switch out. I typically change out the products every two to four weeks, so I'll make sure to keep you guys in the loop, and I hope you like the video. Let's get into it. Alright, so here's my everyday makeup stash. Basically, these are products that I use on a you know, every day or an every other day basis. Um, some product categories have, you know, maybe one item. Uh, others, like my lipsticks, as you can see, have multiple choices, so I can, you know, pick and choose. I have some Project Pan items in here, which I tend to focus more on, but for the most part, I do like to kind of switch it up. So I thought I would go through sort of section by section and sort of show you mainly in the order of how I would apply it to my face, but, you know, some of these drawers just because of how they fit doesn't necessarily apply to that, but for the most part, this will be sort of as I apply them to my face. So here we have a lot of my like base and moisturizing products, so I'll usually start off with one of these two mattifying moisturizers, and then I'll follow it up with my Neutrogena Shine Control Primer, um, and then I'll mix my Garnier BB Cream and my Stay Matte But Not Flat Mix Foundation, and then just apply that with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge and uh, pretty much I like all of these except for maybe this shine control lotion just because I haven't used it in quite a while but yeah so that's my sort of main base products alright so as you can probably tell I had to switch up the angle just because it's gonna be a little bit easier to see what's inside the drawers so we'll start with this one um, this has mainly concealers and then illuminating products so I have a Rimmel uh, Wake Me Up concealer I have a Maybelline Fit Me concealer I have the Pixie Corrective uh, Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach which is really really nice uh, just goes under the eyes and has a nice peachy brightening color as the name implies and then I have the Benefit What's Up highlighter, which this was the sample in the Sephora birthday set, and I have used it quite a lot in the past two to three months, and that's, you know, that doesn't look like I've used it at all. So that's pretty cool. And um, we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold, if I can find the opening. It's just pretty rose gold, and it looks actually really natural over the Benefit What's Up, at least on my skin. And then in the other small drawer, we have more face products. So we have the Tarte Smooth Operator Loose Powder, which I really like for setting my under eyes. Um, and then I have a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Light. And then I have the then I have the Becca Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, which is like freaking liquid blotting sheets. It's ridiculous. I'll take some of this stuff out. I have the NYX Eyebrow Powder. And then lastly, I have a Physician Formula Talc Free Mineral Wear Powder, which as you can see, I hit pan! Woohoo! I think I've had that for probably like almost a year at this point because it's my darker shade so I'd say that that's pretty good then in the next drawer I have my uh, one of my project pan items the little black beauty book from elf um, as you can see I'm trying to pan a lot of the shadows and then I have two Maybelline color tattoos, one that I'm trying to pan, I'm really close in Barely Branded. And then Inked in Pink, which was part of their metal 
collection. It's a permanent shade. And then I also have this really old Clinique duo called Strawberry Fudge. And as you can see, I have used almost all of it. So I'm trying to get rid of that. And then I have my NYX Natural Palette, which as you can see, lots of pan there. And then in the last drawer, I have blushes, bronzer, and a contour shade. So this is my NYX XL All Over Glow Bronzer. And in here, you know, you just have sort of a, you have a darker brown and then a lighter, lighter brown that has a little bit of like micro glimmer in it. And then there's the Rose, Milani Rose blush in Coral Cove, which I'll swatch this because it's super, super pretty. Uh, yeah, you can see that. I really, really like this. Hoping to get some good use out of it this month. And then next I have the NYX Bouncy Blush in uh, coffee cake. Next I have a Kiko cream blush which I got in Italy on a uh, study abroad trip and made a pretty decent dent in this. I really like it uh, underneath my uh, powder blushes. And then last but not least, if I can get this out, is just the NYX uh, taupe shade. Uh, just like a cool tone brown color. All right, so next I would typically come to this little uh, cup where it has a lot of my eyeliners and like spoolies and things like that. So, you know, I have a brown eyeliner, a black eyeliner, a uh, Jordana Fabu liner, nude liner, um, brow razor, some tweezers that I use if I need to get rid of any, um, if I need to get some stoppers out of any products purple liner, a red tone purple liner, and I have my Ulta Raincoat uh, mascara topper. It just kind of makes any mascara waterproof. I really like that. Uh, it's Kirsten here on YouTube uh, mentioned it in a video and I've used it and I really, really like it. So the last place that I'll go is on top of this little uh, storage unit. Um, this is actually not like any sort of lip palette. This is a bronzer and two blush palette that I got from Sephora, as you can tell from the top. Um, it's just because it doesn't fit in any of the drawers down here. Um, but then I have a lot of different lip products. Some of them are um, project pan items like this one and these three. Um, some of them are ones that I'm throwing in for the month. But basically, you know, I have some, some, a lot of Rimmel actually, but some Rimmel liquid lipsticks, Rimmel regular lipsticks, and then we have some ColorGirl lipsticks. Yeah, almost all this is Rimmel. I really like them, apparently. Um, and I have a NYX Butter Gloss that I'll top on this one. And then I also have my Milani Eye Primer, which this, I would say, is just as good as any high-end primer that you will try. I mean, I've tried the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I've tried the, uh, the one from Urban Decay. I like that one better, but that's just my personal preference. Um, and then basically I have, oh, I have my uh, Brow Stylist Plumper, which I really like. It's basically just a mascara for your brows. It has this little tiny brush. It's really nice and you can just comb it through. It's a tinted brow gel. And then, lastly, I have my two mascaras that I'm trying to use up. And I have the Wet n Wild Mega Length, which is just the one that I use to sort of prime my eyes and sort of give them a little bit of length. And then I have one of my Project Pan items, which is the Maybelline, Maybelline yeah. Uh, Makeup Forever uh, Smoky Extravagant and that's what the, that's what the uh, wand looks like. Nice bristly brush. So yeah, that is all of the products. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit. <laughs> Sonic screwdriver. I'm a dork, I know. All right, so that's my everyday makeup storage. 
uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you do an everyday makeup drawer you know what you like to use uh, I'll make sure to link Jessica Braun or Jam Beauty's uh, channel in the description link and I'll also probably link a few other YouTubers that I like to watch who do these types of videos. Let me know if there are any other types of videos that you like to see and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!